Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Reset 2023. Today is day 14, and we are going to be recapping the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, I can't believe we've already gone through all of the nine gifts of the Spirit. And so we are so thankful for uh, the members of the LABC stepping forth mm -hmm. to uh, bring these teachings. And uh, of course, we did day eight with the word of wisdom and knowledge. And look at all these people, honey. Yes. Um, day nine was the uh, gift of faith with Ron and Carol. Uh, gifts of Healing on Day 10, and Miracles with Sonia and Amy. Wow. And then get Day 11, Prophecy with Jackie. And then Day 12, Discerning of Spirits with Brother Dean. And then on Day 13, Tongues and Interpretation, Diversity of Tongues with Christine. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what Reset 2023 is about, to get the body of Christ, every believer, functioning to their full capacity. Yes. And that's why I love the gifts of the Spirit, because it said in God's Word that they are given for our profit, for every man, every believer yeah. to profit. It's beneficial, mm -hmm. not just to ourselves, to others, when we learn and study the gifts of the mm -hmm. Spirit, but also step out in faith and let God use us in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We're going to just quickly recap the nine gifts of the Spirit. I just want to notice uh, real quickly, it says the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man. Mm -hmm. We are talking to believers, to every believers. And so it's not just for fivefold ministries or someone you think is spiritual or your pastor. It's for each individual believer. Mm -hmm. That means you mm -hmm. to profit for your advantage, to profit individually and for others as well. And also it says at the end that the spirit divides to every man as he will. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people think we can turn gifts on and off, like you turn a light switch on and off, but mm -hmm. we have to be led by the Spirit because it is as he wills, mm -hmm. and he always knows what's best for every situation. And so that's another uh, important thing to remember. And then, you know, at the end in chapter and verse 31, it says that we are to earnestly desire. You know, you're not going to get these things from the Lord unless you have a hunger. The Bible says if we hunger and thirst, we shall be filled. So I just want you to stir up that hunger to earnestly desire the gifts of the Spirit. And then as we look, honey, uh, I just love the way... Uh, the Bible is written and God is an orderly God and he has uh, we have a wonderful um, breakdown of the nine gifts of the spirit into three different categories the first is a spiritual gifts that reveal something that, that they uncover something they they give you information and that is the word of wisdom the word of knowledge and the discerning of spirits. You know, wisdom and knowledge kind of go hand in hand so many times because it's just something from God that he drops into your spirit to give you information. It can be about the past, the present. Usually wisdom is about the future. The discerning of spirits is uh, a, a just about the spirit world where God will open your eyes to see into the realm of the spirit you could see angels you could see jesus you can also see demons and evil forces it might be in the natural eye or it could be in a dream or a vision um you know so many different ways then the power gifts are the gifts that do something they demonstrate god's awesome wonder working power yes. mm -hmm. oh and that is the gift of faith the working of miracles and the gifts of healings. 
Now, this gift of faith, we just really want to uh, understand that this is not just faith that comes by hearing. And, you know, even when we are first born again, the Bible says he gives everybody a measure of faith. Aren't you glad that God, mm-hmm. you know, we have to have that measure God. of faith that God puts in our heart just to believe and yeah. to receive salvation. But the gift of faith um Sometimes people say the gift of special faith. Mm. And this is the faith that doesn't come by just reading the word of God, because we know we're supposed to grow in faith. But this is just all of a sudden, I heard Smith Wigglesworth say this when he especially is used in the gifts of miracles, where he raised people from the dead. He would say all of a sudden, a faith dropped in Mm. his heart. And that was the gift of faith where he did not doubt, there was no doubt whatsoever Mm. that he could raise someone from the dead. Oh my goodness. I've I've even heard of people saying that the faith was so strong that they couldn't doubt. They couldn't doubt. (laughs) That's wonderful. I mean, even if you were a doubting believer, (laughs) when you, the gift of faith just dropped in, that is an awesome thing. And then the three utterance or inspirational gifts the spiritual gifts that say something and that is prophecy diverse kinds of tongues and the interpretation of tongues amen i think about um peter walking on the water i guess that would have been called a miracle you know Mm -hmm. and he saw jesus operating in that gift of miracles you know walking on water and so he wanted that Mm -hmm. and uh, and so he he stepped out in it and the Lord just said, come. And that's, I think, what the Lord is saying to us in the gifts. Just come on. Yes. And and I mean, who, who's going to fault Peter because he walked on the water? That's <laughs> he might have right. slipped, slipped, but he walked with Jesus back to the boat. I mean, it's powerful. And isn't that better than just staying in the boat? That's you know? right. And, you know, one thing about that story, too, is that as long as Peter was looking at Jesus and focusing on him because he is not about you. Yeah. The gifts of the Spirit are not about us and, and you know, us being glorified because they always should point to Jesus mm-hmm. and, and lift up Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but the thing is, aren't you glad that when he stepped out on that boat at, on, uh, on that word come, Mm-hmm. that he walked on the water. It was mm-hmm. a supernatural miracle. Mm-hmm. I think it was also a gift of faith too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the thing is, is when we shift the focus off the true purpose of being used by the Spirit and glorifying God and helping others, then we start looking inward and say, oh, maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm not doing it right mm-hmm. or maybe maybe I shouldn't try this, or we just get distracted. That's when Peter started sinking. Mm -hmm. But you know one thing, maybe the people on the boat said, oh, Peter, you should have never done that. But Jesus didn't say that. He didn't ridicule him. He went and extended his hand and pulled him up. And so don't be afraid to step out. Mm. And even if we do slip and make mistakes, just, oh, cry out to Jesus, Lord, help. Mm -hmm. And he will, you know, and it takes practice. Um, The more we do something and the closer we get to the Lord and spend time in his presence and learn the flow of the Holy Spirit, we will have so much more confidence, Mm -hmm. not in ourselves, but the greater one that is in us for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world Uh, you know honey as we've studied the gifts of the spirit and we're to desire them uh, what do you think is uh, really important to help people step in to you know activating this in their life yes well i just think of brother hagan uh teaching us that the Praying in other tongues Mm -hmm. is the doorway into the supernatural realm of the gifts of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so as we step into that, uh, praying in tongues, it just opens up 
those supernatural um, things in our lives. Yeah, and I think about that scripture in Jude. Yes, ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, and really to step into these gifts. These are these are supernatural gifts, you know, these mm -hmm. 12 gifts. They're not just little toys. They're real powerful, mm -hmm. powerful weapons. Yes. And so it's beyond us in the natural to do these things. So we've got to step over into a different realm, really. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes that might make people think, well, how do I, would I ever do that? But it's it all starts like Peter when he, he heard Jesus' voice saying, uh, and, he, and he saw this miracle of Jesus operating with a gift of miracles. And he thought, can I do that too? But, but something in him just desired that. He just said, Lord, bid me to come out. And Jesus said, come. So, you know, God really has a lot more um, confidence in his power in our life than we yeah, do that's sometimes. True. That's good. But he just took that step of faith, mm -hmm. you know, out into the waters. And um, and and what that's what praying in tongues does for us. We're all natural people, but God's given us a supernatural ability to release words uh, uh, by praying in tongues. And that's the doorway that opens us up to where we can, uh, you know, be, be built up enough to step out and say, you know, he said, come. And we can have that boldness because we've been building ourselves up, praying in tongues. Amen. And, you know, it is our heavenly language. And we, uh, when we pray, it says we speak directly to God. Yeah. And so we're having God talk, God conversation mm -hmm. on a very powerful, intimate level. And we learn to hear his voice. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes people think, well, what if I do step out and then I make a mistake? Well, what happened to Peter? He, he stepped did. out <laughs> and he desired to walk on the water to Jesus. But then, you know, he got in the natural. Mm -hmm. He switched from the supernatural focus on Jesus to the natural waves and wind. And so, you know, that is something that we have to daily work on you know, putting the flesh under and yielding to the spirit. But, you know, even when Peter did start to sink, Jesus didn't just say across his head, uh-huh, mm -hmm. I didn't think you could make it. Maybe the guys in the boat did, yeah. but Jesus didn't. He was just so, um, just so thrilled, I think, or just so uh, thankful that he, he stepped out in faith. Yeah. He just extended his hand and pulled yeah. him up. And then they both walked back together to the boat. Yes. And so, you know, uh, never not, don't, you know, hold back because you're afraid of failure. Because we'll all make mistakes. And that's one thing about being in the body of Christ is that we don't judge. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to sit back and just watch someone endeavoring to step out in faith or to be used in the gifts and say, hmm, oh and start criticizing you know we are not to judge and if you're like that you need to repent and then you need to just endeavor like all of us to reset our thinking that we can do all things through christ mm -hmm. who strengthens us amen. amen amen yes we just want to leave you with this um simple little uh, chorus it's called, I will yield myself to the Holy Spirit. And of course, praying in tongues, praising the Lord, worshiping Him, just attending church and just putting your flesh under, like even with fasting, these are the ways that we can yield. And then, you know, you can get in that quiet, secret place and hear His voice. Amen. The song says, I will yield myself to the Holy Spirit. I will yield myself to the Holy Spirit. I will yield myself today. I will yield myself to the Holy Spirit. I will hear what He has to say. I will set other things aside for Him. 
as I choose to obey. I will yield myself to the Holy Spirit, yield myself to His voice, I'll hear it. Yield myself to the Holy Spirit today. You know, in closing, if you've never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, or maybe you have at one point, but you've got a dry well and you need to stir that gift up, this is a perfect time to do to reset that in your life. And so um, we're just going to yield to the Spirit today. And those of you who need a refreshing, just believe as we pray together, a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit is going to fall on you. Or if you haven't received and you're a believer, that's to step number one. Just say, Father, I ask you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you, Father, I will yield myself to your spirit today. And Lord, you said that if I just open my mouth wide, you will fill it. And Lord, I yield my tongue and I'll praise you in tongues today. So let's just do that right now together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We love you. Uriah's day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, just be refreshed in the Holy Spirit today. And we know that as we all just reset our thinking and reset our time frame, that God is going to use us for His glory in these days. God bless you. We love you. Well, baby, that's a wrap. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to interject a uh, thought real quick. Uh -huh. So we've been on a 21 day journey and each day we've had a focus for each day. We focused on love for one day. We focused on peace and patience. And now we're starting to talk about the different gifts of the spirit. And it's great that we can take one day to focus in on something. But as we are growing and maturing, would you, would you be able to really live life focusing on one thing per day? No, we've got to learn to use every one of these tools in everyday life. Mm -hmm. That means we have to practice each day saying, I'm going to walk in the spirit of the fruit of the spirit of love. I'm going to walk in these gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so that's our challenge for you today is not to to just take one piece and once you've focused on it just move on but to continue to add to mm -hmm. what we've already learned and continue to add those things to the tool set that you've been walking in mm -hmm. we're so excited you join us for reset mm -hmm. and can't wait for what god has in store amen also we're really excited about next week as we enter into our time of fasting mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about consecration separation and holiness talking about preparation dedication and also activation That's so good. let's get ready god is doing great things mm -hmm. god bless yeah. Bye.